So I've been getting a ton of comments both on Twitter as well as on YouTube of how you can use any iPad, your iPad Pro, your iPad Air, your iPad Mini even, as a mobile display for your brand new M4 Mac Mini. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is walk you guys through two different ways of actually getting this done because one way you can do no matter what, and the other way is probably a little bit more beneficial, but there's a little bit of a caveat that you need to go with. But without further ado, let's talk about how to make your iPad a portable display for your M4 Mac Mini because with the iPad, the Mac Mini together, you could pretty much take this anywhere and have an awesome mobile operating system. Let's get into it. So before we get into this live demo and how to actually set this up in both of these different ways, I do wanna mention that the setup process is going to be your one caveat that you're gonna to have to get through, right? One of these ways will allow you to just use this even during the setup process, so you don't have to worry about getting this set up first before using your iPad, and you do need to add one additional piece of hardware, which is about a $20 dongle, which I'll leave linked down below and I'll explain how that all works. And then the second version is gonna be all through continuity, which technically probably works a little bit better, especially if you have a great Wi-Fi connection, but you will not be able to run this continuity until you set up your Mac Mini, and you cannot set up your Mac Mini without a display, so that's what we're gonna have to work around, which I'll show you guys in a second. But let's get into the first way of how to use your iPad Pro as a dummy display for your Mac Mini for an awesome portable desk setup. So let's get started with the situation. And like I mentioned, first we're gonna be going through the continuity aspect of how to use this iPad Pro alongside the Mac Mini, which I have pulled out over here. And I am using my BenQ monitor up top. And that is what my Mac Mini is connected to currently via USB-C. So I'll also put a screen recording up to make this a little bit easier to visualize. But what you're gonna to wanna to do first is on your actual Mac computer itself, you're gonna to wanna to go into your system settings. And as you can see in my system settings, right now the only monitor that's recognized is going to be my BenQ PD3225U, which I do absolutely love, and I'll leave the link down below if you guys wanna check that out. But you're gonna to wanna to press this little plus button. But before we do that, make sure that your iPad Pro or any iPad, because this will work across any iPad, is connected to the same Wi-Fi and you're logged into the same Apple ID to both of these devices. So once you know that you have that set up, we're gonna press this plus button, and then you're gonna see link keyboard and mouse to Fern's M4 iPad Pro, or you're gonna to wanna to actually use the mirror or extend to option. So this link keyboard and mouse, meaning that you can use your keyboard that's connected to your Mac mini and your mouse that's connected to your Mac mini and use it to control your iPad. We don't want that option. We wanna actually extend. So we're gonna click on Fern's M4 iPad Pro. You gotta give it a second for it to connect to itself. And then voila, down here on my iPad Pro, you're able to see that we're now running, quote unquote, Mac OS, right? So if I'm using my mouse right here, the first thing I wanna do is arrange this correctly. So now that it's all arranged how we want it to be arranged, if we move the mouse down here, you can see that I am technically running, quote unquote, Mac OS. So if I pull up, let's say, one of my tabs, so let's open up the calendar, it's gonna open up the calendar, and I have my dock app here on the iPad, and then I have the calendar popping up here, but I can click and drag over here, and this works like any other screen or any secondary screen that you could use. So I can use this as an extended monitor if I wanted to. So that is how you use your M4 iPad Pro, and again, it works with any iPad as long as you're on the correct Wi-Fi, if you're running the latest operating systems on both of these, and then of course, if you have the same Apple ID connected there. So that is how you use the first version of using your iPad Pro alongside your Mac Mini, which I think is a great solution, especially if you have a multiple desk setup or a multiple monitor setup, and I like to be able to use the hub of the iPad Pro. And then one thing I know that people are going to ask is, will you be able to use the Magic Keyboard as a peripheral, as an input device for Mac OS? Because technically we're connected to the iPad and this is to control iPad OS, but you can see here that I have my Satechi keyboard. This is technically Bluetooth connected to my Mac Mini. Obviously we're gonna type it out. Something does type up in the search bar, but now if I move this off to the side and then I use the keyboard on the iPad Pro, if I type something in, it still does work. So you can use the, the keyboard normally. One thing that you cannot use is the trackpad, which is kind of interesting in how Apple's implementing this, but the trackpad doesn't work at all. You can kind of see it popping up for a second, but it's because it's trying to pop up the iPad OS mouse, because if I swipe up, then I have that mouse. But if you're in this mode, the only way to actually control it is to control it with the external mouse that's connected via Bluetooth to the Mac mini, but you can use the keyboard to type away. So that is something that I know many people are gonna ask, but now let's get into the second version, which is when you purely use the iPad Pro as an external display for your Mac mini. So for this way of working your iPad Pro as a display for your Mac mini, you're going to need something called an HDMI capture card. And what this does is it's gonna reverse the direction of the HDMI. And you guys have maybe seen some of my videos talking or how to use this thing with game consoles and being able to use your iPad Pro as a dummy display. But what this essentially does is that it HDMI outs from, let's say, something like a Mac Mini, 
and allows you to HDMI in to your iPad Pro. Because if you were to use a regular USB-C to HDMI dongle, it would actually try to send the video out from the iPad to whatever device you're plugging into. This little capture card, which I believe is around 19 or 20 or 21 dollars at the max, will allow you to reverse that. So I definitely recommend getting one of these because without this, this is not going to be able to be used. And then of course you're going to need an HDMI cable. And then lastly, you're going to need to have a free app called Orion. There is a paid or in-app purchase for it as well to give you some 4K scaling. But this is essentially what's going to allow you to turn this into a dummy display. As you can see, it kind of has that same vibe as an old school TV. Again, that's not what it's going to look like once it's plugged in. But that's what essentially this is doing. It's turning this into a TV or a monitor that you can then HDMI into. And in this version, you're actually able to set up your Mac Mini through this version because technically what you're doing, what I keep mentioning, is that you're turning your iPad Pro into a display because normally when you set up your Mac Mini, you need to plug into a monitor in order to connect peripherals, in order to then use those setting menus that I mentioned earlier because without those, then you're not gonna be able to actually use anything outside of that. With this version of using your iPad Pro as a secondary display, you're able to do that now. So if we grab this capture card, grab any old HDMI cable, and to show you how well this works, I will be unplugging my monitor. So as you can see, my monitor is completely disconnected. I do have the Mac Mini still turned on. So what we're gonna do here is plug this in. We're gonna go to the back. So the HDMI is plugged in, and all we have to do is plug this in here, and then it should recognize it if you do give it a second, and then voila, you are running your Mac OS computer on this Mac Mini. So as you can see here, there's multiple ways to actually do this from a resolution standpoint. By default, it was at 720p, but right now I put it at 1080p, and you can see that it is kind of squished down with the black bars on the bottom and the top, but again, you still get the ability to use your Mac Mini with your iPad Pro with zero issues whatsoever. As you can see, I'm running it like normal. There is a little bit of latency, as you can see with that little wiggle, but again, it still works normally. You don't need to have an external monitor plugged into it. This can be your one and only external monitor. And if you wanna just click on here and use it normally, it will work normally. Again, this will allow you to use your Mac Mini on the go with a very easy setup. So all you have to do is bring your iPad Pro, your Mac Mini, a mouse and a keyboard, and you're good to go. But now the question is, can you use a trackpad or the mouse similar to the other situation we had before? The trackpad, of course, does not work because this is an iPad app, so it thinks you are in the iPad OS system still. And if you want to type something out, will this work? Unfortunately, it will not. So you do need to have a secondary keyboard, which I have right here, and use this to type away, and then that'll work normally. So you're essentially using your iPad Pro as a dummy display for your Mac Mini. And that is how you set up and use your iPad Pro. And again, this works with any iPad that has USB-C. So as long as it has a USB-C port on the bottom of it, it'll work. So the iPad 10 generation, the new iPad minis, the new iPad Airs, iPad Pro since 2018, this will all work perfectly with these iPads. And I think technically you can even use your iPhone with the Orion app and use Mac OS on your iPhone, which would be a funny one to do. But that is how you set this up. Now let's finish up the video. So that was just about do it for this video, everybody. As you saw, in my opinion, the best way to do this, especially if you're working on this in a true mobile fashion and your only monitor is going to be your iPad, you're gonna have to go through the HDMI capture card route and using the Orion application in order to do this because you do have to rely on things like Wi-Fi, on Bluetooth connectivity, and all those different factors when you are using it in continuity mode. Being able to use it in continuity mode is probably the best way to do this, but it only really works if you have a great and stable Wi-Fi connection. And most people, if you are truly using this as a mobile setup, they probably don't have Wi-Fi connection on the ready. Yes, you can hotspot your phone. Yes, you can kind of connect to slower Wi-Fis, but it will get a little bit choppy and the latency will kind of hit there. Versus with Orion, at the end of the day, you will be able to use it and use it how it's intended to be used because again, you're only using your iPad Pro as a dummy display and nothing else is happening. So anything that has an HDMI out will be able to use this way of using your iPad Pro as an external display. So think, you know, game consoles, think your Steam Deck, think a Switch, think a MacBook Pro, think a Windows PC, anything that has an HDMI out will be able to use your iPad Pro or any iPad for that matter as a display. But that'll do it for this video, everybody. If you did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. Let me know if you are actually gonna be running a setup like this. I do have a travel setup video coming up how I'm using my M4 Mac Mini on the go because there's a bunch of different ways to do this with the iPad Pro, with a portable display and everything in between. So definitely stay subscribed and stay tuned because that's definitely a fun one. But that'll do it, everybody. If you do wanna watch more videos like this one, definitely check out one of these videos right here. YouTube thinks you're gonna like this one and I personally think you're gonna like the one below. But that'll do it. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everybody.